for a long time I wondered what kind of exercises our wrestlers did to have such big forearms, so I tried a lot of them in the past few weeks and found the main exercises that will give you the fastest gains. So first, we'll take a look at the brachioradialis. It is a muscle that will make you appear really large from the front as it sticks out of your arms. And so the first exercise we're gonna cover is the reverse grip curl. You can either use an easy bar or a straight one, depending on what feels more comfortable on your wrists. I'd recommend you go for a thumbless grip, it will get more of the brachioradialis involved, as it prevents the bar from resting passively on your thumbs. I keep my elbows tucked in and do slow controlled reps, especially on the eccentric phase with slight poses. I usually do 4 sets of 12 when I train back and biceps, so you can implement this exercise in your pull day. Next up is gonna be cupping, which in my opinion is the best movement for working the inside part of the forearm. Now, what I'd recommend is to make the handle thicker, that will make the lift harder, which will lead to better gains. If, like me, you don't have fat grips, you can roll a towel or a sweatpant around the dumbbell, that will work just as fine. Rolling the dumbbell down the tip of your fingers, then curling it back up, will work on finger strength at the same time, then adding more range of motion, so I'd recommend you go for that. And your hand muscles should also get huge pumps after you're done. I also go for a thumbless grip, as I feel less strain in my wrist this way, and feel it more in my forearm. Although if you actually want to train like an arm wrestler, I found that they more frequently cup with their thumbs, as it imitates better a match setup. Now you may want to be careful with the way you position yourself doing this exercise, as I discovered that it can lead to elbow pain the more you do it sideways, so just try not to do it too much on the inside of your leg, but rather on the front side. The same thing happened to me with the preacher curl machine, as I was doing single hand curls and ended up using too much side pressure, which led to elbow pain in everyday life, and that is not something you want. I do 4-6 to six sets to failure, which is around 14 reps with the weight I have at home, and try to control them until I can't anymore. Now, we'll talk about the flexor muscles, they will add thickness to the outside part of your forearms, even when looking at them from the front. You train those muscles by doing any kind of grip exercise, like using hand grippers, farmer's walks, or even by training your back, but the way I've mainly done it is by using grippers when I was younger. I did it randomly throughout the day and went to failure then rested a bit and did it again. I used a 40 kilos resistance one back then, but it doesn't really matter as long as it's not too simple. So if you're gonna do farmer's walks, I'd recommend you carry the weight in your palms rather than with it resting on your fingers, as it won't work the targeted muscles as good. Define a distance and try to do as many back and forth as you can until you reach failure. This exercise will work your traps a lot, so I don't think it's the best if you want to target grip. I rarely did it as well compared to the other ones, like I just put them at the end of a few chest and triceps days. I think that any pulling motion is better than this, that's why I don't use straps during my back days, but there is also a problem for this one, as improving grip is not the point of a back session, and it can become a limiting factor. That happened to me a few times when I was tired and had a hard time holding the handles, so in my opinion, the best grip exercises are the ones where only your hands or wrists are required to move, like rice bucket training. If you want to know about it, I have already uploaded a video showing my full routine, I'll try to put a link to it somewhere, or you can simply use hand grippers and gradually go up in weight as you progress. Now, some of those exercises can put a lot of pressure on your wrists, like heavy cupping, and to avoid any injury or pain, I warm up with a power ball. I'll put a link to the one I use in the description, but it gets my forearms, wrists and hands ready to handle heavy load. I use it for a few minutes before training, alternating between both hands when they get tired. Now, when it comes to training frequency and volume, I totally think that you can train them every day as they recover really fast and need a lot of stimulation to grow. It is not mandatory, and a lot of people will have decent forearms by not training them directly or training them 2-3 to three times a week, as they are already going to be getting a lot of indirect work from any pulling and deadlifting in their program. However, I would say that this video is about trying to get the absolutely disproportionate world champion arm wrestle look and not about doing the minimum required to end up with average forearms to biceps ratio. So yeah, considering that, I think that you can and should train them every day as long as you're not too sore from the previous session, which should only happen when you're getting started. As long as I remember, it only happened to me twice after heavy arm wrestling practices that I had to take rest. My current routine in an ideal week is cupping every day, except in my back and biceps days, so 5 times a week, while implementing the first exercise I talked about in those days. Doing this much volume is the reason my forearms grew so much larger than before, so yeah, I'm definitely seeing a lot of gains from that, but let's be realistic, I don't think I've actually trained my forearms for a full week straight before, as it's kinda time consuming and you just forget about it sometimes, so do it when you can, preferably every day, but it's not a big deal if you skip a day here and there or add a rest day. 
And lastly, I want to talk about the pronator. Uh, by now you should know that I've been training it for the past 300 days, but I stopped noticing gains after like a few months in, and only recently have I seen it getting huge because of cupping, which I don't understand fully. My explanation is that it works it a bit, but also the deeper muscles in my forearms grew and kinda pushed it outwards. So now it is much bigger and noticeable. Uh, I don't have any clips of it as there is too much fat in front to be seen, but I feel it becoming stronger. Take what you want out of this information, I'm not sure about it myself, but if you're an actual arm wrestler or know about the reason why, feel free to leave a comment, it would be interesting to discuss. And so, that's gonna be all for this video, I hope it was helpful. The next one is gonna be my full day of eating, so if you want to be noticed, feel free to subscribe. And yeah, see you there!